motivation is what gets you started, but a habit is what keeps you going. This was said by Jim Rohn. So what is a habit? A habit is a customary practice or use. It is part of our everyday lives until we die. Habits have two main causes. It can either help us, which has a positive effect, or it can hurt us, which is the opposite. Like a roadmap, habits have two ways of going. And either way, you can always change it. There are four, there are many habits in this world, but there are four main types. One would be nose or mouth picking, binge drinking, and being, becoming an owl at night, and then finally, wearing earbuds or headphones for long hours. Nose or mouth picking is considered one of the world's worst habits. This is against proper etiquette rules, and this is also very bad for your health. This, can also, this habit can also spread various infections. Binge drinking has two main causes. It can cause many deaths and hospitalizations every year, and it also causes long-term health problems, such as dizziness. When you become an owl knight, it is basically saying you are staying up to prepare for exams if you are a student, or for work if you're an adult. When this habit becomes a routine, you are actually going to end up damaging your body. But without six to eight hours of good sleep, you are actually going to end up damaging your immune system. Wearing earbuds or headphones are our companions. We take them everywhere we go, from car rides to on airplane rides. Whenever you wear earbuds or headphones for long hours without a break, you're actually going to end up losing your hearing. Now, I'm not saying I don't like music, and I do, but I don't listen to it constantly, every minute. What kind of effects do the bad habits have? Well, one thing is that they can either help you or hurt you or lead you in the wrong direction. And if you do have a bad habit, it will tend to hurt you. But if you decide to change it, it can actually help you. My dad said that one bad habit always leads to multiple bad outcomes. I think that means that when you have one bad habit, you are always going to have bad things following you. He also said that because there are not a lot of bad habits to match the good ones, they can still make a significant impact in a person's life. So basically, if you say you, are, you don't have bad habits, you basically do, which also is saying you're choosing the wrong side. Why are habits formed? They are formed because we started it once and we keep on practicing it daily. And when this becomes a routine, you can never stop it. There is not a fixed solution for every bad habit, but there is many or infinite solutions for each bad habit. So an example would be to organize a bedtime to get proper sleep. Some results in ridding bad habits would be that it can increase your health benefits and it can also bring up your mood and your attitude with your friends, family, or anyone who's around you. Finally, I challenge you to find your bad habits and change those and then help others. Thank you.